Hey, this is Ben with Pulsar 2121 Games. In this episode, we are going to cut the piston skirt to increase airflow. Stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, there's still a sliver of the piston skirt visible inside of the intake port, even though the engine is at top dead center. That decreases the airflow slightly, which also decreases the horsepower capability. So what we're going to do is we are going to trim the bottom of that piston skirt so it perfectly matches the port. So the first thing we're going to do is trace out the line that we're going to cut with a pick here. We're just going to scratch the side of the piston and that will give us our mark. Now we are going to remove the head and the jug so we can get access to the piston. set that over there okay and you want to use a rotating motion here just be very gentle all right and there is our piston okay as you can see I've got the motor covered up now that's so we don't get any metal shavings inside the crankcase because that can work its way back up to the piston and damage the rings. So once that's all masked off, uh, we should be ready to start grinding the piston. So I'm just going to use a, a basic uh, aluminum oxide grinding stone here. Um, I'm going to start on a low speed setting. Basically you're going to use this like a pencil and then hold the piston in place with your hand. Alright, there we go. Now that we got the piston shaved down, we're just going to take off some of the burrs by hand with a file here, very carefully. And this will help make sure that we don't get any scratch marks on our uh, cylinder sleeve uh, when we put it back together. Just very gentle. Okay, there we go. Alright, now we're just going to clean up our mess before we uh, demask the engine. Okay, there we go. Now we have demasked the engine. Be careful not to get any dust inside. Um, now we're just going to take a clean rag here and gently wipe off any shavings that we have left or any dust. Uh, get it out of the piston rings, off of the piston. Okay, now we're just going to put the jug back on and then put the head back on. So now that we got the jug and the head back on, you can see that we no longer have the piston skirt showing in the intake port when the piston is at top dead center. So that should increase airflow about 15 to 20%, uh, which will mean more power um, once we get all the mods on this motor. So uh, now basically you just put your spark plug back in and you'd be ready to go for your next power mod. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we learned some things about increasing airflow. Um, stay tuned for next time when we put in a reed valve and a high-performance carburetor. 
This has been Ben with Pulsar 2121. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you.